everyone, it's Multimadia, and welcome to just an ordinary maintenance check, the demo. So this is a brand new in progress game from our friends, the Hemotion Project, and they have given me an early access version of this game for me to try out and show you guys one of their newest and latest titles. That's the same thing. So from what I read about this game, it's actually supposed to be a sequel to one of their previous games coming home. I have not played that yet, but now that I know that, once I'm done with this, I'm gonna go over and check out Coming Home and uh, make a video on that as well. But this guy, I believe, is a maintenance worker and we've been invited over to a house to do some maintenance checks over there. I guess we should get started then. Oh, okay. <laughs> that seems like a light. Oh, it's rather laggy, isn't oh, that's it? Weird. Oh. Oh, we're just going now. Sorry if it's pretty laggy, by the way. Probably dead. Oh yeah, it's slow. So we just have to do our Oh, okay. Oh, oh dear. Okay, so a few teething problems. I don't know if it's just my weak GPU or there's still some things that need to be. Right. He said two flow controllers, a generator, and a breaker box. No specific order, but I have to fix the generator before I can turn on the breaker box. Okay, so now I guess we're looking for a generator. He said we need to look for. <sighs> Stupid phone. Okay, so he says we need to go and find a generator. I'm struggling to find where I am though. I like how it's, I like how it's drawn though. It's like an actual nicely drawn map. It'd be helpful if I had a marker or something. I think I might just like, oh dear. Okay, okay. I think maybe it would be good to just explore. Cause I mean, sooner or later I feel I will get this, um, I'll soon get this map, but oh. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna go this way. Okay, there's a pile of rocks over here. I doubt that's anything we need just now. Oh, and also apparently while we're doing this, there's supposed to be something that we need to watch out for in these in these vents. This is a thing that I can't access just yet. So I wanna guess that's a door. I can't do anything with it just yet. Yeah, this might take me a while to get used to. Look through this map, it's a, it's a little difficult to find my way around. I kind of wish I actually like took some time to learn like where I was so I wouldn't get lost. So I guess my first goal is just to find a generator while also like staying away from whatever that thing was over there. Oh, there's a door over there and another dead end. Let's go and check out this door. See if this is anything that we may need. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna look at that later. I wanna look at this door. <gasps> There's shelves and stuff, other stuff that I don't know what's in there. Oh, wait, maybe since I since I found this door, I wanna see if this um means anything. There's an arena outside. Apparently there are safe rooms. Flow room, red glass, storage. I wanna guess this, <gasps> I know where I am now. Okay, so you see up in the, in the top left, storage room, and right next is something called a ritual room. So I wanna guess that's what this room is. I don't like being in here though. Oh, hello. Okay, so this is a very odd looking scenario. Are those can- those might be candles, those might be sticks, I'm not sure what they are. I feel like I shouldn't be in here, but... Okay, that looks like something that I may need to remember. How do I even interact with stuff? Wait, let me take a look. F! Oh, it's F for object interaction. <laughs> Oops. Okay. You are to choose a room. This will be the place you commence the procedure. This room needs at least one pedestal, storage shelves, storage barrels, and at least three red glass. There's something I should take note of. All right, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take a little, a little snap of this so I have it for later. Okay, so I've got this. Hopefully I can still read it okay. Or maybe I should just take a normal note. 
Maybe I should just write it down like a normal person. Essence is to be stored in the barrels and bones along the shelves. You may run out of either during the procedure. This book includes all the information you may require during a procedure and all the steps you will perform to enact the ritual. This book is only for the eyes and mind of the Grand Seer. The Grand Seer may educate lesser seers on the knowledge among these pages, but actions in this book are not to be performed without supervision of the Grand Seer. Okay, so, okay, can I... Can I leave now? Okay, so I wanna guess we have to look for stuff for that now. Before I continue, all right, ritual room. We still have not found a generator, but apparently in the bottom left, Grand Seer is down there, but I have to find the generator. So ritual room and the, the storage room is over there. All right, so if I head straight, straight from the ritual room. Oh no, wait, this door is closed. Okay, never mind. Okay, so instead, I'm gonna turn. I'm gonna go this way and then turn this way. Wait, is this the right way? I might have went a different way by accident. Okay, I'm just gonna have to see red over there. This is very complicated, <laughs> but this looks so cool so far. Oh, this looks like something I need to... Okay. This looks like something I... Oh! Oh, if I look up, I can see my hat. That's cool. Okay. Well, there's a hole in the floor. I need to get the panel on. The pet. Ow. <laughs> my poor heart. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, I clicked F. It didn't do anything. Okay. I'm guessing this is what I need the generator for. Okay. So, am I able to... I'm a little worried. Oh no, I just have to turn these on. Sorry about all the weird, like, turning and stuff. It's kind of odd. Everything is- everything is so quick. I'm literally moving my mouse as gently as I possibly can to make sure I'm not, like, moving it too quick or too slow or, or anything like that. Alright, is that it? Oh, we're done! We're ready! Turn it on! Oh, maybe this needs something? All right, that's not anything I can open. But that monster didn't, didn't seem to like me being here. Oh, I can jump. That's handy. I can jump over there, though. Wait, the water, uh, it probably dips down. I was going to say, how is the water stopping there? It probably dips. It's probably sloped. Why are there so many of these big holes? They don't look like puddles. Ah! Ah, this is what I saw in the front. Okay, so I want to guess I have to get the flow over over there. Basically, like a maze puzzle. I used to see those on newspapers. I have not done one of these in how long? Wait, do I need to get this over to there? Okay, this shouldn't be too difficult then. Oh, I did it! Yay! Okay, so that's one. And there's another one on the other side. Uh, okay, I guess I'm just gonna do the puzzles over here. I'm guessing this was what I had to do all the all this time. Okay, so. To get this over here. This is supposed to go up here, I think. Oh, yay! Ow, oh, I don't like how the door just pushes me. All right, I think that might be... Oh, we're ready! I think. Uh... What was this supposed to be for? Okay, I guess that's done now. But yeah, those are... Those definitely aren't ordinary holes. I think I need to, I need to stay away from them. That is what that creature came out of though, I think. Okay, so I wanna guess this was the plumber room. Turn left, which I did, and then turn left again and then turn right. Wait, wait, this isn't right. No, I got, I went the other way. Ah, stop. That was the plumber room, so I go this way. So it's actually the opposite, I think. Or maybe that's just me being really silly. Oh no, it's that door again. Well, at least now I know how to interact with everything. So I'm just gonna go in here. Maybe there's a key in here. All right, now that I know how to interact with things, now I feel like I'm making some kind of progress. Didn't the thing say that I needed like red crystal or was it red glass? At least I found a key and there's a lock down there. This could be useful, but it looks like I don't need that. Or that. <laughs> okay, so I can use this key to open some kind of door or something. I guess just that whole... I should leave this door open so I can keep track of where I've been. Okay, now I guess it's just more exploring. But I wonder what that thing that I did before in what I can only assume is the plumber room. I'd like to think that that opens some kind of thing that I need to get to. And now I've got this key. 
which will open something up. It's more through like the through the squiggly areas <clears throat> where it's more scary. Please tell me I'm not going around in circles. I hate when I don't know where I'm going. Oh, another door. This is precisely what I was looking for. All right, let's go in. Just to be sure, I'm gonna close that up. All right, so we happened upon what looks to be a bedroom. Okay, nothing in here. Doesn't seem to be anything in there. Fancy toy. Probably works on those big doors. It's, it's just me walking, but it feels like a blank sheet of paper. Do I need to draw something on it? Nope, it's literally just a sheet of paper. Okay, well. I used to love, I used to love these rubbers. Oh, those like big mistake erasers. I used to love those. Can I open this? Nope, I'm not able to. Anything else in here that I need to be aware of? Oh, I thought that was F. Okay, nope. <gasps> Found something. Two blank from blank. 23rd of March, 1908. Blank, do not return to the family home. Please, for the love of something. Do not come back home. Our grand seer sent you a fake letter and is trying to entrap you. I don't even know if this will reach you, but for the love of God, I hope this does help. We made a mistake joining this group and do not want you to make it too. Is this some crazy cult-like lore happening here? Okay, so let's close that up and check the final, the final drawer. Nothing. Wait, let me check if I can run. Okay, I can. I don't have any uh, stamina usage, I don't think, which is which is good. All right, let's get out. I think I turned, I think I came from that way, so I'm gonna go this way. Another big door, but I have, oh! Wait, I wanna see if I can use this to open this door. Oh no? Okay, well. I forgot what he said about, about this remote, but I think I should keep it on hand just in case. Oh. Oh. Oh, I use, I use right click to do that. I mean, left click, pardon me. So left click to use this thing. Okie dokie, this will make things much easier. All right, now I just gotta find some more of those big doors. See if I can finally get to that generator that I've been looking for for so long. Okay, that just opens it up back there. So this is basically just making it much easier for me to get lost. <laughs> I'm a little afraid to go in there. Uh, okay. Um, I can jump. <laughs> oh boy. Oh, no, no, no! I'm falling! I'm fine. <laughs> no, let me up. All right, fine, whatever. This is a lot of reading. But a nice picture, nice drawing. Okay, let me give me a second to read this. Once the host has become calm and dormant, the Grand Seer is to show it to an appropriate room. This room is to become the host's nest. No one is to enter this room for the next 24 hours. The only people who are allowed in this room from here on are the Seers, Grand Seers, and maintenance workers. Hey, that's me! Mages and casters are not to enter this room under any circumstances. Occasionally, the something will express its hunger. An untouchable is to be thrown into the nest. From time to time, the host will give... I'm gonna guess that said host before. That from time to time, the host will gift a red glass to the Grand Seer. The red glass in the nest is not to be touched. While it's not unstable, it is under the possession of the host. What belongs to the host is not to be tampered with, else it will show its anger. The host's gift is, however, the secondary purpose of summoning a host. What is happening here? The host's gifts cannot be regrown like the other red glass. However, it will have the same effect if consumed properly. The host is only capable of something the inside of the nest. Workers are to maintain the outside and inner structural integrity. Each group of workers is to be accompanied by at least one seer, else each of them will surely die. The host cannot differentiate between its food and its help, for it has not eyes and only sees the sounds. 
host. Huh. Okay, I think it's safe to say that I got next to nothing of what this note has said, but I want to guess maybe the host is the thing that tried to eat us before. Looked a little similar to the thing I encountered in just an ordinary bike ride. Am I able to... Oh, just looking around to see if there's anything that I missed. Also, nice to know that I can jump now. I feel much more agile. Wait, let me check my map. Funny how I can see what's in there through the, pu through the puddles. It's almost like I have a window of seeing exactly what's in there. I can't seem to get to my key now. Oh, I have to put it away. Oh, that's the case with all of them. Well, okay, so that is red glass room. I'm only assuming. Okay, so that that's a blocked entrance down there. Yeah, that's the door. If I go down and turn that way. No, that's not it. Uh, this is very complicated, <laughs> but at least we made some progress. Is there any way I can turn this like upside down? All right, nice to have that up. So I guess I just need to go straight down turn straight down okay okay i've got it i think i've got it now finally i've been waiting for this and then and then i should come across a door safe what's a safe i know where i'm going now oh quite a room a fish just a red fish <laughs> exactly What's a fish doing here? Okay, that's really random. Um, wait. Wait. This will probably work. Yeah, just casually pick it up and stick it inside the weird altar thingy. Oh, um. That was odd. Don't know what that did, but I feel safe in here. I want to guess this is a room where the monster can't get me. Thank you, Lord, for I now feel safe. And this fish makes me feel safe too. The holy red fish. Okay, you know what? Whenever I feel threatened or scared, I'm just gonna call on the name on the holy red fish and it will surely give me strength. Let's see what's in the store. I forgot where I'm going. <laughs> okay, let me consult the map. Okay, so I come across a door and I'm supposed to turn. Oh my God. Plumber room I think should be down there, but I'm supposed to turn this way. Nope, that's the wrong way. I'm going this way. And then this way, and that's a blocked way, and it should be uh, here. If I manage to get this, I don't know what I'm gonna say. <laughs> well, if only there was a way I could turn, I could turn the thing. You know what? The generator must be in here, but I have no way to get into it. Maybe this will work. No, maybe this will work. Yes! And the key is what I need for this lock. Finally! Sweet, sweet, delectable progress! We did it! Keep my remote out just in case. I need to flip that switch after fixing the generator. How do I fix the generator? Uh... Okay, so how do I fix it? How am I supposed to fix this? Close this up so nothing sneaks up on me. But wait, if it blows up, how am I gonna get out? Oh, it's this thing again! Oh, absolutely! I can totally do this! I hate how the door just knocks me out whenever I try to fix things. Be simple. Match the gears to the correct spot. Match the gears to the correct spot. Um, wait a minute. Oh, oh dear. Um, I think I might have screwed this up already, but I'll, uh, I'll fix it. <laughs> I was working backwards that time. Finally. Finally, we did it. That took me a solid 10 minutes. Now, I think that might be us finished with this room. Unless I've missed something in here. I'm so afraid, though. Okay, we're done. Remote in hand. Let's get out of here, finally. Okay, now I think would be just be a good time to do some more exploring. But at least now the generator's on. Oh? It works now. Well, I guess I should just try to find more of those boxes and find some more things to- oh. But I should try not to get lost, which is never going to happen. And there's the red glass room again. 
So I guess maybe we should try to find some more of those lock boxes. And I wonder if this key opens other doors as well. If so, I need to find them. Okay, so I forget what I'm supposed to do now. I've already done the plumber room, I'm assuming. I've already done the... I've now just finished the cog puzzle for the generator. So what should I do now? And alas, I somehow made it back to the red glass room. So I guess we should try to find some of the other rooms that we've not explored yet. And also, maybe maybe I shouldn't say anything about it just yet. Mage room. I kind of want to go explore there. There's a safe room. Is there another safe room? Are there more safe rooms? Screen tents. There's a bunch of stuff here. I'm near the red glass room, I believe. Yeah, I passed the floor room. Storage ritual. I'm gonna try to see if I can get back to the safe room. Actually, no, that might have been the flow room that I was thinking was the plumber room. In that case, we should probably try to get there to the plumber room. And then after that, go to those those two rooms at the bottom. Oh, seems there's another flow room. So I need to go not that way. This way to go past to the safe room. And the safe room should be down there. Yes. Now we just need to make another turn down here. Oh, that's right. That is the room that I was in previously. Oh, lag. Lags always freak me out because that makes me feel like there might be another render. Oh, here's a door I've not gotten to yet. Let's open it. Oh, it's another one of these rooms. Okay, well, we know what we gotta do. We gotta turn on these uh, generators down here. <laughs> Not again! Ah -ha. Okay, I want to guess that's the host that the papers have been talking about. Okay, let's just turn these on and get this room up and running. Have we even questioned why I'm doing this? It said, it said in the thing that I'm supposed to, like, this was supposed to be some sort of, like, structural integrity thing, but I have no idea what it means. And I'm scared. Hey, at least I can do these puzzles. Oh, we did it! All done! freaking hole is scaring me. Okay, let's go and do the other side. This is such a good game so far. I'll admit it did take me some time to like get into the feel of it and like get my head on straight with what's going on, but so far it's, it's going pretty well so far. He must have brought it to you guys are doing a great job. Now I only got to do this thing again. Oh, that was much easier. Okay, so that should be everything. Let's see if this works. That's everything. That's hey, everything. Where's my wrench? I need to get it before leaving. Quickly. Wrench? I'm sorry. I did not have a wrench before. Okay, I'm feeling I'm feeling a little conscious now. I wanna guess there's a secret ending to this game. What the heck is this? Oh, these were the things that I these two tent things. I don't know what these are. Seems like people have been living down here. It must be those like cult people that we heard about before. <laughs> These cute little tents and each one has their own water bottle. That's really cute. And barrels on fire, which is a little odd considering no one else is down here. Anything else in, in here? Okay, nothing. But where would I leave my wrench? I didn't even know I had a toolbox. Okay, I guess we need to find our wrench before leaving. But I'm wondering, if, if that's the end, if I find the wrench, will it be the end? Or maybe there's a secret ending to this game that I'll get if I actually like attempt to do the ritual thing. Oh, here's the thing. Should I just go and leave? Looks like no. Can't even see up because of my hat. Okay, so looks like I'm on a quest to find my wrench. I don't like how quiet it is though. If, if there is a secret ending in this game, I definitely love want to try to find that maybe now wouldn't be a good wouldn't be good to do that maybe i'll save it for like once the game is fully released but maybe i left it in here next to the holy fish oh i did oh i thought this was supposed to be a safe room ow my face i should run now um a brother I'm okay, I'm getting chased by something now. I don't remember where the where the exit was. Ah, don't get caught! Ah, no! No, this is the worst place I could have ended up. Oh, that's what I have to avoid the holes for. Okay, so I just gotta avoid these holes and just get back to the front. Ah! No! No, leave me alone! I'm just running around in circles now trying to find the exit. No! Ah! No! Ah! 
trying to turn and you juked me. Oh, we're back. Ow! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I split in two for some reason there. Oh, well, I'll bet just like the last game, if I had like gotten out without dying, I would have like got the secret ending. Ah! No, that was probably like my way out or something. Okay, I just need to concentrate. Oh my god. Where am I? Oh, great pink fish! Save me! Ah! 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 Running around in circles and I'm not found a single thing yet. Oh my lord. No, not this freaking room again! Ah! <laughs> Why do I split in two every time I die? You know what? I'll bet that's like my respawn. Okay, actually concentrate. Okay, now I'm concentrating. So I went here already. That did not help at all. And that's not a thing I'm supposed to go to. I'm assuming maybe here. Nope, nothing, nothing. Not down. Oh, I'm outside the thing. Um, if only I knew my way around this area. <laughs> no, I've already established that going that way is not good. Oh, uh, all right, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> okay, now that I think about it, you aren't so scary after all. No, I've already established going that way is not good. He's probably right on my butt now, isn't he? No, this is supposed to be the safe room, isn't it? But then again, that's where he came from. I split in three now. How many more times can I split before I eventually find my way out of here? <laughs> I'm going this way, <laughs> forget it. I'm going this way this time. And that was a dead end back there, not down here. Uh, did I go here already? Nope. Ah, ah, ah. Oh! Oh! I was close. Um, let me out. No, that's a dead end. Oh, nope. I split in two again. I'm gonna guess that's a bug. <laughs> okay. No, I went, um, okay, well, I'm gonna have to go this way now. I gotta think of what ways I've not gone to already. Nope, down there is the, okay, I'm remembering now. Kind of. Down here, maybe? Uh, not there. Okay, let's actually focus. Focus and get out of here. Oh, I thought I could jump. Oh. Oh, this is a new perspective. Oh, um. Okay. Oh, this is frustrating. I feel like I keep going the exact same way and it always, like, doesn't turn out well. Maybe this could be the way. So that's what those holes are for. The holes before don't really do anything, but now the monster is coming up. And he's not giving up. Oh! I made it? Wait, why am I back here? I thought I made it. Oh. What? Oh. Come on. Who the heck are you? You look so cool. Thank you. Be careful, friend. Okay, looks like we <laughs> Oh, and that's it. <laughs> We've escaped. <laughs> We've escaped the treacherous tunnels of the underground. <laughs> though we died many times, we did it. Is that the whole thing though? I feel like that's not the end of the game. For one thing, who was that guy that came up to us before? And I feel like I haven't really scratched very much of this game. But then again, I don't really know very much of it seeing as it's still just a demo. So I imagine more of the story will, will open up to us when it finally comes out. I'm excited for that. If I did miss anything, I am very, very sorry, but please let me know, uh, devs, if I, if I did miss anything, I'd be more than happy to go in and find it. So yeah, first thoughts, good game so far. It was a little like laggy at times. And of course, like the, the splitting into multiple, into multiple of this guy every time we died. I imagine that's not really something that's supposed to happen. Also, the clock just moved. I'm pretty sure it was a different time before. The clock literally just moved. Wait. It's three o'clock right now, and it's just turned 3.01. <gasps> That's so cool. The, the time is actually like, it's real time right now. Okay, that is, that is pretty cool. If that's the case, maybe the clock was different before. Definitely a brilliant star. Of course, some some things definitely still need to be need to be tweaked and fixed around before the final release, but I'm honestly expecting good things from this. So thank you again so much to Himosin Project for allowing me to play this 
Oh, on my mic. Thank you so much to the Himasen Project for allowing me to play just an ordinary maintenance check, the demo, and I eagerly await the full release of this game because I definitely want to explore some more. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well. Um, be sure to uh, go and support the Himasen Project in their endeavors, um, creating uh, amazing projects like this game and like the Just an Ordinary Bike Ride game that I played before. For the record, I know some people have been telling me, including the developer, that I've not gotten the secret ending. So another video on that is going to be coming out in the in the near future. But for now, I'm going to finish up there. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and let me know your thoughts and feedbacks in the comments box below. For now, I'm going to get going, but I hope you guys have an amazing day slash night wherever you are, and I shall see you next time.